Well, it's the time of year that gets me excited. Lego have announced the new Creator Expert modular building. I love the modulars. I have all of them, and this one is no disappointment. Hi everyone, my name is Dan and this is Between the Bricks. In this video I'm going to take a look at the images that LEGO have provided me as a recognized LEGO fan media to announce the next Creator Expert modular building. Uh, this building is 2,504 parts. The set number is 10270 and it is called Bookshop. Let's take a look. The new Creator Bookshop will be available from Lego stores and Shop at Home from the 1st of January 2020. It will retail at $179.99 USD. I'm picking that in New Zealand dollars we are looking somewhere between $250 and $280. Taking a look at the box art, first impressions, I am excited about this set. Uh, for me, it's very reminiscent of the pet store, and I'll get to that in a minute. But taking a closer look at the parts usage here, you can see that they've clearly used a lot of curved tiles, which are relatively newish. There's a lot of one-by-one one modified bricks there uh, with the rounded top and also the pyramid style uh, or triangle style. Uh, there's just so much going on in this model. I, I'm really excited, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. The back of the box here shows um, the bookshop uh, across the road essentially from the two most recent modular buildings. Like I said before, I think it is quite reminiscent of the pet shop. And if we have a look at them side by side here, uh, obviously we have the pet shop on the right and the bookstore on the left. You can see that there are some similarities. A bad thing, I think it's actually really nice because it makes the buildings actually come together a lot nicer and uh, makes them look like they should be side by side. You know, at the end of the day, a whole bunch of totally different buildings would look a little mishmash. It's quite nice to have a little bit of similarities every now and then. So taking a look at the ground floor here, uh, the key standout piece here has to be that bird's nest. I'm looking forward to getting a closer look at that and seeing exactly how that's made. Uh, it's nice to see that we're getting some more of the yellow tree leaf elements. We're now getting a few different colors of the uh, other leaf element there that to me looks like a frog's foot. Uh, so we can see here we've got orange and yellow in there as well. Uh, not a lot going on on the inside of these buildings and uh, not a lot of tiling by the looks of things. So it's a little disappointing to see that they're not tiling so much on the inside of the buildings like they did through around about the middle of the range. Uh, quite like the tree and how the trees come together. Uh, it's obviously meant to represent a birch. Um, quite, quite well done in my opinion and using the black sausage pieces and some uh, modified plates with clips to create the, the cage at the bottom. Uh, I also like the use of the scroll piece uh, on the steps into the apartment in black. I think that's a new recolor, so looking forward to getting uh, some of those and uh, making use of them elsewhere. From the rear of the buildings, clearly not much going on at all. Uh, again, no tiling, um, no real decoration. This is obviously the non-photogenic side to a point. Uh, I like the small garden there and uh, you're going to get a pumpkin piece in there as well. Looking at the middle floor, uh, I think looking at the steps that are in the bookshop, they've done them really, really well. I've seen this technique used a few times in modulars now, but now they're integrating the use of tiles and uh, the the one by one um, rounded end tile to get that nice smooth transition around the corner. So well done. This is where we're getting to see a lot of the one by one modified bricks with the rounded uh, over the top slope. I'm not quite sure what the description for that is. Particularly like how that's been used underneath the windows. Looks really good. Um, couldn't have done anything better with it, I don't think. The townhouse here, I love the lights on the entryway there using the uh, Transclear pyramid pieces. I'm not sure if we've got those in Transclear before. 
and uh, I love absolutely love the windows uh, the bay window that's been done there it looks so good with those pillars in there it looks absolutely fantastic and they're using that newish uh, cylinder piece that's used as a candlestick quite often in the Harry Potter sets upside down and onto the one by one round tile with the peg uh, also use of the triangle tiles in there as well to get that shaping at the front uh, from the back here you can see that the townhouse has a, a quite a nice uh, setup there with uh, a dining table and a teapot and a cup uh, actually two cups there's also some more uh, modified one by one bricks with the rounded top there in a different color I'm not sure if that's red or dark orange and we can also see some more pyramid pieces there in what may be brown or dark nougat not entirely sure uh, in the bookshop there we've got uh, a nice looking light and an absolutely beautiful looking grandfather clock which we'll get to have a closer look at in a minute the top of each building here uh, I think they've done a really great job here it's not overdone but it looks really really good the top of the bookstore side using a lot of curved macaroni tiles uh, and some basic embellishments there the window looks fantastic I really really like how that that how that looks it looks it just looks great I love it uh, the top of the townhouse is again this is just beautiful um, I'm absolutely uh, blown away by how they've managed to create this roof texture uh, to me it looks like they've layered in some plates and then the quarter round tiles over the top uh, and clearly you can see there that they're on hinges so uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how they come together uh, again we see the same technique used down below in the bay window with the cylinder pieces upside down to create the window frames and here they've gone for the modified uh, one by one brick with the sloped sides um, absolutely wonderful use of that part it looks so good uh, really liking the fact that they've brought teal into this model as well it means there's going to be more teal parts for use and uh, it's just going to be an absolute uh, mock creator's dream to get more of these parts available in, in teal uh, looking at the rear of these uh, the top section of these buildings the bed in the townhouse uh, wooden framed bed again the way that they've utilized the quarter round tiles to create the the embellishment on the end of the bed just looks stunning to me you can see here we've also got a new colored chameleon and teal also and in the bookshop style on the bookshop side we have a teal bed uh, which could match the teal house on the other side the minifigures are all pretty standard minifigures as far as modular buildings go. There's nothing super outstanding about them. Uh, this torso I think is actually quite pretty. I really like it. It's quite simple in its design but it could be used for all manner of characters throughout the, uh, the Legoverse. Uh, I don't think you see too many Lego minifigures with a long tie so uh, I quite like it. I quite like it. Uh, we have a female minifigure here with uh, a big bushy here, pretty standard torso, which I'm pretty sure we've seen before. Um, most of the minifigures do have dual faces. Uh, I think at least three of them have dual faces. We have another female minifigure here, this time with a uh, dark orange, I think, or dark tan printed torso and uh, glasses. We have a gentleman with uh, gray here and a plaid top again pretty standard minifigure nothing super outstanding there and then we have a young person minifigure with a beanie and a scarf and uh, a nice printed torso with the banana taking a look at the accessories uh, the light post there was in the bookshop um, relatively simple in its design but very very effective uh, a new way of doing a couch which or a single seat which I think looks really really nice with the rolled arms and there's the glorious glorious grandfather clock 
uh, the bird that's sitting on top of the uh, the grandfather clock is a recolor for that bird. I think we've seen it in white before. I don't think we've seen it in blue. Uh, the chameleon, as mentioned before, in teal, and uh, the young person with his uh, drone aircraft. A few more accessories for the bookshop. Uh, obviously, there is a book called Moby Brick, like what you did there, Lego. Uh, a pink umbrella, which isn't too common. I think we have seen it before, but it isn't super common. Uh, a pretty basic plant pot, and there's the uh, the bed that we were looking at before. Now, that is, uh, is gorgeous. I think they've really captured a wooden framed bed very, very well there, and I, I do like that. That's very, very nice. So overall, my impressions of this model, uh, I am I am super impressed. I think this is uh, one of the better modular buildings they've done in the last few years. Um, I, I can't wait to get my hands on it. I can't wait to build it. And when I do, I will be building it live on Twitch. And I can't wait to add it to my collection. So there you have it, my thoughts on the new modular building. I can't wait to get it. I love it. I can't wait to build it. When I do, I'll be building it live on Twitch. If you want to catch up, I stream on Twitch four times a week. Head over to twitch.tv forward slash between the bricks and drop the channel a follow. Also, please do like and subscribe, follow, share all of my other social medias, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. It would be really great if you could do that for me. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you think of this modular building in the comments below. Until next time, be safe and keep building.